Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today I have a HF96V by HF Tools, and this is their thermal imaging gun. This thing is really cool. So let's open this up. So it slides open. And then inside, you get the set of instructions, calibration certificate, user manual, and then this this is it and you have a little accessory pack that basically contains like the charging cord and it's a USB-C so um, even if you didn't have this charging cord you're out in the field you forgot it you could definitely use any USB-C and a uh, power block or hook it up to your laptop or your desktop or cell phone charger like whatever you have going on um so let me get this rid of that foam drop it in there so this is it so this is the screen let me kind of zoom down a little bit so we can kind of like see some of the functionality of this okay turn it on you just hold it for a quick second let go of the power button and then it'll start up and then let me try to get this so right away so if I put my hand in front of that, you can see the thermal image on there like immediately. Absolutely awesome. So to get into the menus, you basically just a quick hit. So you have albums, so you can take pictures of stuff, uh, sensitivity, distance, display settings. And to get into something like, uh, like image settings, you just hit that. And then you get, you know, parallax correction, color distribution. Hit the return button, that goes back. Super resolution your palettes, level and span, you know, your alarm, temperature range, capture mode. I mean, like the menus on this is absolutely awesome. So display settings. Then you got your hot, your cold parameters, your units. So if you wanted to change something, you basically hit the menu button again. and then it will toggle through. It's kind of hard to see. So this bottom, I'm trying to make sure I don't get too much glare. So I have a set for Fahrenheit, but you have your K scale, then your Celsius, and then again, we'll use Fahrenheit. You go down, you can enter your time and you know date, so that way when you're recording something, you can go through there. But it does a whole bunch of stuff. So anyway, so again, that is your thermal image screen, and we're gonna go around my studio with my uh, my camera and just give you kind of an idea. So again, like you can even see the distinguishing how my watch is cooler and how some of the heat's coming through the sides of that. Pretty awesome. So let me get my uh, my regular handheld camera. We'll go through everything and we'll go through a couple parts in the studio and find some hot spots, some leaks, and everything else. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so I'll kind of give you an idea. So that is my garage Mahal sign. So you can kind of see how you get some heat coming off of that. And then this is my sauna. So you can see I have it running. And you can tell it's, it's probably, what's it showing? It's showing about 102 degrees right now. So I just turned on a little while ago. But the cool thing is, can you see along the door's edges? You can actually see where the heat is escaping. So you can spot an over by... I have a little radio basically set up here and then you can see in there that heat is leaking out from around there as well um may also be like from it generating but now you can start to see right above that doorway you're starting to get some really big heat leaks coming through that so it's pretty neat and then these walls are not insulated so you can see how the heat is actually coming through the walls pretty awesome so next thing I want to show you is kind of like oh so you can spot the yeah, let me get better focus so obviously that's one of the studio lights and you can see how that is giving off some heat to it and then up here is my air unit so putting a thermal image in front of that it is basically and then let me put the uh let me put the laser on it you can see exactly where it's pointing so it'd be center and you can't really see anything because that's in cooling mode 
and then we go up to the ceiling and here's where you can see where I have insulation on this side and you can see some heat links there well that's one of the lights actually but then going back over on this side you can see a big color difference where that's insulated, non-insulated, and then insulated. So you can see the color difference, and you can see where the heat is leaking out, and where the heat is actually being held in. So pretty, uh, pretty wild. And like I said, there's going to be a lamp on the table. You can kind of see the silhouette of that, because that's like a little LED bulb. So really pretty fantastic. And then looking over on this side of the garage, Again, you can see the temperature difference and everything. And then back to the sauna. Across the room image. And that is just really wild looking how you can see <clears throat> behind the wall, that red area, that's actually where the heating elements are. Infrared heating elements. And then you can almost see how the heat is leaking out. Like it's almost like smoke looking through the thermal imager. And then again, back to that, and then back in here again. So very cool. And you can see how the temperature right now uh, maxed out at like uh, 106. But very cool, very awesome. Anyway, that is your HF96V uh, thermal imager. Anyway, Brian from Gosh Mahal, thanks for watching and be safe out there.